The need for a single window solution for all water resources data and information has become increasingly important in recent years. This information is critical for stakeholders, including policymakers, water managers, and researchers, to make informed decisions regarding water management and conservation. Presently, the water resources data and information are scattered across various sources, making it difficult to access and utilize them effectively. The availability of reliable and up-to-date water data is essential for the efficient management of water resources in the country. With the purpose to have a central repository of nationwide water resource data, National Water Informatics Center, NWIC, was set up as a subordinate office under the Ministry of Jal Shakti, DOWR, on 28 March 2018 by the Government of India. The vision of NWIC is to be a state-of-the-art data repository for water resources and related themes, facilitating informatics-based sustainable development and management of water resources in the country. The website of NWIC can be accessed through nwic.gov.in. Upon visiting the NWIC homepage, users will find a comprehensive services section that showcases a diverse range of projects undertaken by the organization. These services are WIMS, India Warus, WARIMS, and SWIC. In this video, we will be discussing the India Warus platform, which can be accessed either by clicking on the India Warus service under the services section of the NWIC website or through the India Warus website indiawarus.gov.in. The India Water Resources Information System, India Warus, is a standardized national GIS framework that has been developed as a part of the National Hydrology Project, NHP. It provides a single window platform for the dissemination of data on water resources and allied themes and enables users to search, access, visualize, understand, and analyze water data. The India Warus portal hosts static, dynamic, and semi-dynamic water resources, spatial and non-spatial data under 130 GIS layers for the entire country. The data is currently organized into six distinct themes, which are further displayed through 35 modules in the water data section. These themes are surface water, groundwater, land resources, hydrometeorological data, allied themes, and projects. Additionally, a new module named Jal Itihas has been recently added to the portal. The surface water theme in the water data section of the portal contains a wealth of information on storage, rivers, snow glacial lakes, surface water quality, and wetlands. The storage module provides information related to reservoir, reservoir sediment study, and surface water bodies. The river module contains information related to river monitoring and river information. The groundwater theme encompasses information pertaining to groundwater exploration, water level behavior, groundwater resource estimation, groundwater prospect study, artificial recharge structure viewer, and groundwater quality. The groundwater exploration module offers comprehensive information on aquifer 2D, exploration details, and litholog. The water level behavior module provides data on groundwater level. The land resources theme contains information on forest and tree cover, land degradation, land use land cover, soil type, water logging and soil salinity, and wasteland study, which is available for visualization on the India Warus portal through thematic map layers, charts, and data tables. The modules falling under the hydrometeorological data theme are rainfall, evapotranspiration, soil moisture, and agroclimatic and ecological region. Modules covering a light theme are inland navigation waterways, storm surge study, socioeconomic census, flood inundation, drought affected areas, reported extreme temperature, rainfall and earthquake events, and coastal management information systems. The project's theme comprises three modules water resources project, interbasin transfer link, and minor irrigation census. The Jal Itihas module, which has been recently added to the India Warus platform, serves as a national repository dedicated to disseminating information on 75 selected water heritage structures in India, identified by the National Water Mission NWM. The Warus Tools section of the platform has two modules, namely Online Web Editor and Artificial Recharge Structure Data Entry, that allow authorized users to add, update, and delete data. The utility modules serve as valuable tools that facilitate a wide range of tasks such as data downloads, 
report generation, data visualization, and data query. These modules are data availability, data and report download, district at a glance, GeoViewer, Metadata, PMP Atlas, and Warris Wiki. The publication section contains a vast collection of research papers, reports, and other publications related to the water sector. The Contact Us section of the portal allows users to reach out for any queries or feedback they may have. Further, users are provided with a range of essential links namely Data Availability, WIMS, River Basin Reports, Data Download, Project Documents, and Warus Help Manual for easy access. The latest updates feature of India Warus enables users to stay updated with the most recent developments and advancements on the portal. The homepage of the India Warus portal also features a search function that enables users to quickly locate specific modules by simply entering their names. Users are provided with an option to provide their feedback by rating the India Warus portal with stars based on their experience. This feedback enables the organization to continuously enhance the functionality and user experience of the portal. The footer section of the India Warus portal provides users with an array of links to various modules, enabling easy access to relevant information. Hope this brief informative journey regarding India Warus could have been quite useful for you. You can follow us on the social media platforms shown here.